Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Well, game two of this matchup is set to go down tonight. Centers are gliding into center, and you can feel the tension here in the building. You can feel the intensity of this one. Kind of playoff atmosphere. We're on the way. Sizzling shot, and he makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Philadelphia's got the win off that draw. Thunderous hit it. Look at that. The paint of glass is cracked. Well, yeah, I mean, what a hit, right? What a blow. And you can see it right there. There's a spider in crack. And listen, you got to make sure that this is taken care of because it gets hit again. It will shatter. So safety is of the priority right now, James. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, a clutch save! Solid check to slow him down. Takes it from the right side. Moves it quickly over to Carlson. The Flyers have it now. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Gary's finding a way to play his best hockey when it matters most, and that's in the playoffs. I mean, coming off of a playoff shutout, and then again, continuing the trend with some good saves tonight. That knocks him off the puck. Puck slides it back to the blue line. That was amazing! What a save by Harrison! Close to the sweet spot! Denies him in close. Taken by Pedersen. And now he moves it quickly to Plunting. Oh, great move to shake off the check. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. The Penguins will have to kill off two minutes here, charging the call. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. First power play opportunity of the game, and to set the tempo, the trend on the special teams. Look out, they can create some trouble here. Extra attackers on the ice with the delayed penalty looming. Couturier's off to the set bin for cross-checking. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Sends the pass over. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Bunting. Gets the puck over to tip it. Handles the pass. Great pressure with the stick. And as he skates back out onto the ice, it's a brief power play. They'll have to go to work here. And he slides it quickly to Eller. Couturier is almost back on the ice. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Big time stop there. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. They got a face-off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks fatigued, James, so the best medicine right now for them is to find a way to put the puck to the net. The Flyers will play it from the defensive zone. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Here he is in front! Wide to the net, he missed! Oh 
man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. And the puck leaves the zone, going back to center ice. Great heads-up play in the neutral zone by Beauvillier. Avoids the puck check. Stopped by the goaltender. And he sends it across to Konechny. Fires it on net. And that carves off a body in traffic. With possession along the wall. Quick pass to Samula. Picks off the pass. O'Connor's stick breaks and he's lost it back to the bench and gets a new one. Now he gets back in the play quickly. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Forsters won it in their own end. Takes control of the puck. And he takes the pass. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. Feeds it over. A chance of front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Moves it to Rust. Crosby's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Quick feed to Rust. There's the official call. Forster's getting two for tripping. but they have to look for the weak side for that one-timer. Lungs won the draw here in the defensive zone. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Lungs recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Crosby's won the draw at center. Tosses it to Malkin. Slides the puck over. Scores! And they make the most of the opportunity with the extra attacker out there on the ice, but what a rifle! Yeah, we'd identified earlier, James, that it was really important to get the goaltender moving cross-crease, and that's exactly what that pass does. And they execute on the one-timer. goal and you know who else does the coach because they work on it so often knowing the importance of specialty teams they connect on it the penguins must be feeling good about their game right now up by one here in the late goings of the first well in their practices they've been working on getting shots through to the net and mission accomplished they have been firing pucks from all areas of the ice dominating in that area let's get the call Coach is looking for an explanation here from the official. Yeah, I mean, he's getting the refs here because he wants to know why his team is being penalized more often and is clearly having the factor in the game. In a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. So they're opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Oh, big time save by Erson! And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Couturier sliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. his own face off and he wins the draw shuts him down the goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason and this time he bails his team out here they come through center and into the offensive end there's a hit on the play tries to get it over to O'Connor from the point looks to make something happen spectacular stop by the goaltender how did he hang on to that I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Hayes will look 
to win the draw to continue this power play. The Flyers win the draw. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on the swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. And off the draw, they win possession. Now a quick pass to Cates. Poked away at center ice. Dishes it to Bunting. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. Johnson's got the puck in his own zone. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Solid short-handed performance there as both teams are now back to even strength. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Oh, off the inside of the post. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Rust. Philadelphia's got it against the boards. Jabs the puck away. Sends a pass over. And he's got the answer for that one. Handles the puck. Here's a short pass to Brink. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. The Flyers are working hard to get back in this game. They wire one off the post, but they're generating offense. The coach, the staff, the entire team needs to stay confident here. They're generating the looks. They just have to find a way to execute. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Nieto. And it's a quick pass to Bemstrom. Oh, what a save! Moves the puck. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Graves carries the puck in his own zone. Shakes off the coverage. The Penguins carry it along the wall. You'll need more than that to beat him. Slides it across to Drysdale. Puts it on net. Makes the save. Quick pass to Graves. Battling for it along the boards. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. And he slides it quickly to O'Connor. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Strong defensive effort. The Flyers take it from the side. Moves it to Drysdale. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Oh, nice use of the boards with the bank pass. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Penguins are up by one in this one because they're controlling the game, James. They're dictating the pace of play, and they're converting on their opportunities. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play's going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they've got to be the task.
players have evened things up here in period number two. We got ourselves a new game. Yeah, you love these games that go back and forth, and they've worked hard to get to this point, and now they got the equalizer. Giddy up. Feeds it up ahead. Quick feed to Carlson. Hammers a shot. Oh, and the answer on that one. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Pittsburgh's got it and they're on the attack. And that's off target as it hits a body. Sends the pass in front. And it's blocked. Gets a glove on it. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Philadelphia is going to start with the puck in their own end. Sandheim stick handling in his own zone. Oh, they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Still keeps a hold of it. Scrum along the boards. Here's a short pass to Drysdale. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Poked away by Pedersen. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. The Penguins have it behind the net. Sends it ahead to Rust. Driving right to the front. And he opts to wait for more support. Works it across to tip it. Great heads up play with the stick by Grislyk. Knocks the puck loose. Picked up along the wall by Grislyk. Passes over to Raquel. Feeds the puck to Malkin. Broken up with a stick in the defensive zone. And a great save. Puck set over to Johnson. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Takes the feed. Raquel's swooping in on the attack. Fires it. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Johnson. Pinned up along the boards. And he coughs it up with the pass. Tremendous stop by Ersen. And the redirect. Knocks the puck down with the stick. Johnson's got it on the offensive end. Philadelphia's got it along the wall. Great read to break up the play. And now he moves it quickly to Eller. Here they are on the attack. The Flyers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Into the offensive end now. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. They've got a two-on-one. Shoots! Donna! And through the chaos, they score! Oh, it's chaos. It sure is. But this is going to get waved off. Look at all the bodies in front. This is definitely goaltender interference. Off coming up here, and they certainly look hungry to answer back after that non goal call. Philadelphia's won it. Ristolainen's got it through center. Moves it quickly over to Paling. And he takes the feed. And they continue to apply pressure here. He's got a step. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Well, he's going to get rewarded for his efforts here, James, but it all starts from his anticipation and his breakaway speed to close away from the pack, and then he knows exactly what he's going to do, or at least he fools us and the goaltender because he puts it in the back of the net. The Penguins are finding that little extra pep in their step here in the second period and have taken a one-goal lead as a result. Well, they break the deadlock, and that's huge. Now you're playing in front, but I think this face-off and the shit that ensues is critical, James. Now you got your opponent right where you want him. You're back on their heels. Take advantage and try and get another one. And now he moves it to Nieto. Great reach with the poke check by Sanheim. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Big hit. 
has set a race now. He grabs the puck. Slides it across. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Blast takes the puck. Feeds it on over to Raquel. Takes it into the slot. Big time blocker stopped by Ayrson. Oh, look at this. Here's an off man rush. Score! I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. More than half the period has expired. It's all tied up. Couturier staying possession inside the neutral zone. There's an injection of energy with that here. And the puck is scooped up here on the open ice by Bunting. Tippett's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, kick save and a beaut. And he takes the feed. Kristalainen's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. Takes the pass. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. The Flyers cross the blue line and are on the attack. And that slides right out to center ice. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we're going to tie game. The Flyers will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Quick pass to Crosby. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. And they win the draw on their own end. And he slides it quickly to Krislik. The Penguins play it along the boards. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Feeds it down low. Passes it over. Oh, he got all of that. And a save by He makes some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Lawton's won a big draw on their own end. Philadelphia's working the transition through the middle of the ice. The Penguins have it against the wall. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Philadelphia's got it now. Moves it to Drysdale. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Cooks it away in his own end. Quick feed to Drysdale. Receives the pass. Stop! Stop! unfortunate circumstance here. The defender's trying to get into the shooting lane and instead it ricochets off him and into the net. The Flyers pick up the all-important go-ahead goal late here in period number two. Well, you're always cutting periods into five-minute increments and this is the one that they wanted to score in, James, because it creates momentum, momentum that they can carry forward to the intermission. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Oh, what a mother beauty stop right there. Oh, and he hammers it like that. Great A scoring chance. Lost, James. Whiffs it wide. That looks like a total miscue. Yeah, you can see his body language, too, wanting that one back. He's in the middle of the ice, and he misses by a landslide. James, he rushed his shot, and that's the result. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Fans 
fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now play. How do you view this one? Pittsburgh's looking for the equalizer in this final 20 minutes of play, James. And I thought that their first 40 minutes, they were strong. You know, their effort areas were quality. I thought that they had a lot of grit to their game. But now they've got to find a way to drive the paint. They've got to have an attack mentality as they're trailing by one. And that's turned aside by Ayrson. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Rust. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Picked off by Frost. Philadelphia is moving it into the offensive end. And he moves it up to Crosby. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Here's a pass down low. He got thunderstruck. Slides it over with pace to Couturier. Puck grab by Cates. Too much traffic in the lane. Now a quick pass to Raquel. And he takes the dish. And it's a quick pass to Krizlik. The Flyers take possession in the defensive end. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Sends it quickly to Latang. Into the offensive zone. Slittering feed! And that's intercepted. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. The Penguins need to start finishing their chances as they trail here in this third period. And they win the draw here in their own end. Up the neutral zone now. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. There's the whistle, and here's the call. You tear it by one, and you take the penalty, not the way to get back in the game. here in the neutral zone. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed. Poked away in the defensive end. Sends the pass down low. Here's a shot. And that caroms off one of his teammates in front. Nice zone entry from the left. Hayes is up and ready to go. Penalty has expired. You've got to give the shorthanded unit a lot of credit there. Well, trailing in this game, James, this was a huge kill. They couldn't lose touch of the game, and they did an awesome job of killing that off. Feeds it over. Great glove save. Goaltender covers up. we got to stop it in play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Flyers are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Off the draw, they take possession. Passes ahead from the right side. Oh, what a hit on the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. And he slides it quickly to Hayes. Here's a shot. Denies him. The Penguins still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Quick pass to Raquel. Picked off by Paling. Textbook poke check by Raquel. Moves it to Johnson. Coughs it up on the play. 
York's lugging the puck. Sends the pass over. Paling's got it along the wing. Trying to get back on the attack now. You can feel the energy in the building right now in this tight game. The pressure is on. You have to find a way to embrace it at this moment. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to York. Long pass up ahead to center. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Philadelphia is ahead in this game, James, and their fourth line is back on the ice. Why? They've been their top line tonight, and you can't often say that, but when you do, it's important to get them back out there. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Flyers have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Here's a short pass to Delorier. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. The centermen glide into position. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Graves plays it now. Moves it quickly over to Nieto. Nice poke check. Here's a chance. Oh, what a save in front. The Flyers will play it in their own end. We got to stop it as the puck sails over the glass. The Penguins have the advantage in shots tonight, but they still find themselves trailing here in the third period. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Feeds it to Bemstrom. Nieto's got it along the boards. Moves it up through the middle from the right. The Flyers take over on possession. Philadelphia's across the blue line. Takes a shot. Scores! And will that believe that's his first career playoff goal. Uh, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The coach is salty behind the bench right now. You can just see his whole demeanor is negative because he's not impressed with the way his team is playing. You know, it's been a lackluster effort. They didn't come ready to play. They weren't prepared. Here in the later stages of this period, Philadelphia's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Flyers win possession here in the open ice. Loses the coverage there. Intercepted by Eller. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Puts it in deep. Slides the puck over to Ristolainen. The Flyers have it now. And he loses control here. Moves around along the half wall. Here's a chance. Oh, and he fans on it. Oh, just a great heads up play by Pedersen. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. Puck scooped up by Beauvillier. Shot and the save. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Philadelphia's got the puck in their own end. Slides it to Couturier. Oh, smart heads up Reed. He grabs the puck here at the point. Slides it quickly to Cates. Gain momentum up along the side. Slides it across. And that one's turned aside. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Pittsburgh's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. And they keep the pressure on. Play rolls on. Knocked away with the stick by Latang. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. The Flyers have it now. Moves it on over to Brink. And now he moves it quickly to Paling. The Penguins get a hold of it. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. The 
Penguins coaching staff has to be frustrated. Their players have played well tonight, but they just can't finish on some of these chances, and we're running out of time late in the third. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Great reach by Raquel. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the box. I don't think you can chalk up the place to see the other end of the ice. Cheryl, this was the response that everybody expected and anticipated. And these are playoffs, James. I mean, you've got the best teams in the playoffs, and they want it. They're urgent. They knew they couldn't drop another game. So this was all about a timely response, and they answered the call. What a game. What an action.